Hi there, Joseph Kursky here, reflecting on the 2012 ESRI Education Conference and the User Conference, the International User Conference. One might ask, what do you do there for a whole week, Joseph? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I've got a ton of stuff here in my, in my agenda. Let me show you. See this? This is my agenda. This is the, the stuff that I've been doing every day. And not only me, but uh, other people here is at the conference as well. So it's a jam-packed, uh, at the same time, exhilarating and also a very humbling thing. Because really, the, the exhilarating thing is that you're working with people from all over the world. People are really making a difference with GIS in people's everyday lives and also in the health of the planet. These are some of the smartest, the most energetic, the coolest, the most innovative people in the world. And they're making the planet and the lives of people uh, better. Also, and organizations, are making more organizations more efficient. But at the same time, it's very humbling because you realize that we, we need each other. Uh, and I realize that I only know a tiny part of, of the overall picture of GIS, but I'm very humbled and very thrilled to be a part of this community. Also, uh, just a couple of favorite moments that I've had. I think the plenary sessions at the Education Conference were one of my favorites. We had Sarah Bednarz, Danny Edelson from uh, National Geographic, Sarah Bednarz from Texas A&M, Diana Stewart-Sinton from the University of Redlands, paired up with members of the education team to talk about societal trends, to talk about new developments, curriculum, and other things related to education. And the plenary session at the User Conference is always my favorite uh, uh, time on Monday as well. We've got Jack Dangerman and others from ESRI and others from the community that, again, are talking about what's coming up, what's here now, what should we tackle as a community to make the, uh, the planet a better place to be. Also, I think one of my favorite things is seeing the 4-H'ers. The 4-H students are here. There's about 40 or so 4-H students, after school program, youth from uh, about 13 years old to about 18 years old, uh, looking at everything from water wells in their local community to uh, planning a, the best place for an urban greenway, looking at wildfire mitigation, and all kinds of things. I and mean, they're, they're so eloquent and so wonderful. And we've had 4-H and other students here at the conference. Uh, I conducted a workshop in using weird imagery and earth quizzes to teach about earth science. I really enjoyed the people that I worked with at that workshop. I also enjoyed our expo both at the education conference and here at the international user conference. We got to work in our education booth so a lot of people come by that are interested in education and it's very interesting to uh, talk to people about what they're doing with universities or community colleges or informal programs, schools, libraries, uh, museums, etc and how they can integrate uh, GIS into those programs and how they're doing uh, doing that. So that's always fun. And I also love the map gallery. You've seen my videos on this channel about the map gallery. It's always, it's always just so great to see the diversity of how GIS is applied around the world in terms of uh, different applications. So in that map gallery, we had transportation, health, environment, natural resources, all kinds of things, uh, people using GIS in those fields. So I always tell students, uh, for example, you know, you're, maybe you're not interested in being a geographer and an environmental scientist. Okay, no problem. What are you interested in? Medicine, business, health, etc. So all of these things can actually use GIS. So that was pretty exciting. I love the map gallery. Well, what's not to love? You've got thousands of maps from people all over the world. Also, I was able to moderate several, several sessions, and I always love that because I can uh, listen to other people's presentations um, and, and just to hear the diversity again and the, the real uh, innovativeness that people are doing. I, I got to moderate a business GIS session, for example, people integrating GIS into business. I also participated in a tribal GIS panel this year uh, with a new book that we have out, and that was great because I met a lot of Native Americans using GIS in tribal governments and tribal colleges, so I love that part. And we also had a bunch of people from the National Geographic Society here this year. We had people from the Geography Alliances all across the country, so it was great to work with them uh, in terms of uh, what they see GIS and spatial analysis doing for geography education, not just in the U.S., but around the world. And so there were lots of things that stood out for me, and uh, I just think that uh, the main exhibit hall is another great place to see applied geography in action, because you see nonprofits, you see government agencies, Agencies, you see universities, you see private companies using GIS to, uh, again, look at everything from climate to real estate to land use to population to looking at human health. 
from local to global scales. And that to me is really inspiring. So in sum, I had a great time at the ESRI Education Conference, but also the International User Conference, and I, I hope you'll think about joining us if you've never joined us for this event. It's truly a life-changing experience, and I recommend, I truly recommend that everybody goes at least once in their lifetime, preferably more times, but if you can just go one time, I think you'll be, as I say, exhilarated, encouraged, humbled, inspired. Thanks.